Hey piggy people, so I just wanted to give you guys some updates. I'm going to try to do a cage cleaning video or some morning or evening routines next. But anyway, this video is an update. So Velvet over there, she had an abscess and we were booked to get it drained today actually. But yesterday it opened so we didn't have to do that. So I was doing lots of warm compresses for her and when it opened the smell was unlike anything I've ever smelled. It was so bad. Uh, I had to squish all the stuff out and then I had syringes and cannulas from Reese's abscess so I was able to use saline to rinse out the abscess completely and I just repeated that this morning. And this morning there was just the teeniest bit of fluid in there so it's doing pretty good and she feels so much better the size of her abscess was like a golf ball and she was starting to not want to eat anything hard or anything that she had to chew too much because the pressure was so insane so luckily she seems like she's a lot happier because last night I caught her eating pellets which I hadn't seen her eating pellets for probably over a week so that was nice and she is the sweetest pig for being so patient and not moving while I'm doing stuff with her she is just a dream and Reese's abscess we still have a hole but for the last bunch of days absolutely nothing has come out of it and she seems really comfortable and so far both of the girls have been able to maintain their top incisors with a file so just filing their teeth to keep them trim I do that once a week so that it's minimal overgrowth that I'm trying to get rid of and that has been working well and they've been good for that well Velvet's really good for it Reese has always been a little bit of a butthead same with when you clip Reese's nails She's not interested in you doing anything. If it doesn't involve food, then you're just bugging her. But, yeah, so it's really nice that uh, Velvet's eating better. And you really forget after you've been watching them be unwell for a bit how much quieter they are when they have something going on. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, you almost kind of just get used to their new normal. So, like this morning... When I'm tidying up the cage, she's following every me around, checking out everything that I've just cleaned. And it was really sweet because I was like, oh, I guess really you weren't doing that for the last week. You're kind of keeping more to yourself a bit. So it's really nice that she's feeling so much better. And it's going to be like Reese's where I don't know where we're going to go with it or what's going to happen. But and I keep keeping hers tidy just like I do Reese. Reese I check hers every morning and every night and do whatever we need to do to keep it tidy and make sure it's okay. So I'm not sure how we're, things will go for Velvet moving forward for her dentals because the last dental we were able to skip and she has another one scheduled for probably about four weeks from now because they were scheduled every five weeks. So we'll see if she'll need one um, coming up in four weeks. It is nice that I was able to skip that last one because of filing her teeth. It, so it's just going to be mainly if the molars need it because the one time she did have a couple spurs starting on her molars. So we'll see how that is moving forward but it is kind of nice knowing that at least it's not going to hopefully be as often as we originally thought. Do you see how big Veda is now? Just the little chubbers. So she's going to be seven months old soon. Just the cutest little thing. Everybody else is doing really well. Huckle already left. I guess he doesn't want the rest of the veggies. He's off in the fresh hay. And then we've got the trio who's doing great. So I found a little scab on the side of Busby's mouth. Just off to the side of it. So I think that's an old injury from back when I originally did the intros. If you'll notice in the intro video, he did get nipped by Autumn right near the beginning of the video. So I bet that's what it was from. It was hiding in his fur. But just the other day I thought I saw something a bit dark so I took him out. 
and sure enough it was a pretty old scab that was kind of stuck in his fur so I just uh, picked off what parts were healed and then put a whole bunch of coconut oil on it to kind of loosen things up and it looks way better today because there was a bunch of crusty skin near it too so I think it just all was getting trapped in his fur and not falling off but it looks good now but besides that these guys are awesome everybody always is sleeping near each other eating right near each other they get along great nobody seems stressed out or anything like that Busby still is a little bit annoying to Autumn sometimes trying to hump her but he doesn't get very far because Autumn is like twice the size of him and just tells him to take a hike but they are so sweet and I'm so happy and I just love that they have such a nice large cage and everybody has friends and little Annie has been doing great I always kind of keep a special eye on her so when Angus and Anna Annabelle got sick the first thing that I could notice was weight loss and they looked a bit dehydrated so every morning and every night when I'm looking at her I'm always just checking to make sure she doesn't look dehydrated at all because a part of me is really worried about if it was something genetic for the other two and just hoping that she doesn't have that problem she will be five in November so she is technically a senior because their lifespan is average five to seven years. I find most of the pigs are about six. <laughs> are you guys arguing over the last piece of radicchio? Is nobody that into the orange peppers or what? Are they not that exciting? Yeah, I guess not. I guess radicchio is the big hit around here. And I do um, little shredded carrots. I started that back when the other girls who lost their teeth. Okay, not their te all their teeth, but lost a tooth. Are you upset? There's no more radicchio. But I started the little matchstick carrot sticks is what they were called. Because it was easier for those girls to eat. And everybody seems to enjoy them. I was a little light on the radicchio. I forgot. I buy radicchio at the grocery store and cut the bottoms off and then I set them in a fridge smart Tupperware container with a little bit of water on the bottom overnight. And that's how I store them because then they soak up all the water and stay nice and crispy for the entire time that I keep them. So I usually buy enough to hold for the week. But I forgot to put my newest stuff in the water so I only had a small one to cut up for everybody and I think they're ticked but they didn't get enough radicchio. Hey Reese, how are you gorgeous? <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs> How's it going Belby? Hi gorgeous. You're so pretty. Are you checking for what's good? I guess um Orange pepper, yeah, really not a big hit. Normally I have green or sometimes red. It just always depends. Whatever looks the nicest is what I pick up. Huckle doesn't like carrots, which is interesting. So he'll never eat the carrots. But he's eating a piece of pepper. Remember Apple didn't really care for carrots too much either. But near the end of her life, she didn't mind, but Huckle still hates them. Hey, Hucky! <laughs> Love you, girls. Oh, man, the pigs have been so stressful this past year and the start of this year. So many things going on. But you do what you can do, because, like, look at that sweet little face. Hi, <laughs> you're so pretty. Hey, Ray Ray. Hi, little sweetie. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day. We've got quite a bit of light coming in the windows already, which is always nice. Hi, baby pig. Hi, baby. You got a whole pile of veggies to yourself. Everybody left them. I guess the carrots aren't that great either. What the heck? Did I just pick out the worst veggies? 
Beep, beep, beep. Oh, we're running away. Off to the corner, because somebody might steal that on you. Such a demand. Alright, guys, well, I will see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!